Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another look back on the Billboard Hot 100. 50 years ago this week, for the week ending March 17th, 1973. Let's take a look at the charts, starting where we always start. Number 100, that dash there means no previous week. This number means weeks on the chart. First week on the chart. There's an Archie Bell and the Drells song. Let's see what we've got here. Two weeks on the chart. Frankenstein by Edgar Winter isn't doing much, but it's going to be a hit, and that's a, that's a instrumental, and uh, produced by Rick Derringer, who was uh, from the McCoys, Hang On Sloopy fame. Got Association. Back in the charts here in the 70s, Johnny Rivers with blue suede shoes. This star symbol means fast mover. There's Glenn Campbell. There's Slade, Goodbye to Jane. Jackson 5, Hallelujah Day. Not familiar with that, have to hear it. There's uh, Neil Diamond with Cherry Cherry. You already had a hit with that, so I don't know if that's a reissue or perhaps a live version. Maybe it's a high, a live version. Uh, Focus, the group, and the song Hocus Pocus. I think they're Dutch. Beach Boys there, getting to 79 after four weeks with Sail on Sailor. There's Bell Bottom Blues by Eric Clapton. I have to hear that again to recognize it. Not Moving. James Brown, Stevie Wonder. This is the big new song of the week. Jumping on the charts at number 76. You Are the Sunshine of My Life. That was a biggie, biggie in 73. It's the Faces. Mac Davis. Albert Hammond. Reeling in the years from the second week on the charts, jumping all the way to 68. Let's go over to the middle. James Taylor, stuck in the middle with you. Three weeks for both of those, and they're up to this position. The Guess Who, Follow Your Daughter Home. Don't recognize that one, and that one's kind of holding steady there, not going up. Magic Woman Touch by The Hollies, just going up four to number 60. After six weeks on the chart, it's not going to be a huge hit here in America for them. And that's with their uh, new s singer, Michael Rickfors, while Alan Clark was away. There's Grassroots Song. Donny Osmond, three weeks at, on the charts, up to 55 with the 12th of Ned. Peaceful, easy feeling, 12 weeks on the charts, coming down the charts from 22 to 54. As songs come down the charts, they just go just so far and they fall off. They don't go all the way down to here because there's so many things coming on. So they're, they're taken off <clears throat> as new things come along. There's Don't Cross the River by America. Another one that's uh, stalling there, same position each week for two weeks. And Joe Cocker, Donna Fargo, Lou Reed, Walk on the Wild Zone. Do, 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 do. It's going to be a big hit. Cisco Kid by War. I believe the dot there means a million seller. I thought it was usually over here. Let's see what we're doing. Chai Light says Blue Ridge Rangers. That's uh, John Fogarty. Got it up to 19, and it was back down to 41 after 16 weeks on the charts. That was a long time on the charts, considering it didn't get into the top 10. There's Jim Croce. Rita Franklin, The Sweet, with Little Willie, nine weeks on the chart, showing some movement here in the top 40 now at number 36 from four, 49. There's uh, 
Alice Cooper. Let's move over as we move on up here in <clears throat> the top 40 here. Diana Ross, Helen Reddy, Bill Withers, Mickey Lawrence. The Night's nice Lights went out in Georgia. Up to 30 from 47 last week. Six weeks on the charts. Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. Five weeks on the charts at number 29. Fast Mover. There's Lobo. Johnny Nash. You're so vain. That's a million seller. There's that dot there. 16 weeks on the chart. Dropping from 11 to 26. There's Masterpiece by Temptations. Space Oddity by David Bowie. Seals and Croft with Hummingbird. Dancing in the Moonlight, 21 weeks on the charts, coming down from 14 to 21. There's the Carpenters, Bread, John Denver with Rocky Mountain High, 17 weeks on the charts, coming down from 9 to 15. Ain't no woman like the one I got. Four tops, going from 20 to 14. Crocodile Rock, the million seller, 15 weeks on the charts, coming down from 7 to 13. Just a singer in the rock and roll band. Moody Blues, going up one. Stylistics, Ann Murray, Jermaine Jackson, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Spinners, Could It Be I'm Falling in Love, Million Seller. Coming down from four to seven, 12 weeks on the charts, cover of the Rolling Stone. 16 weeks, moving up to number six. Last song at five. Also, Sprach Zarasa Trusa, that must be a instrumental. It's number four this week. Love Train, coming down. I mean, it was five, now it's three. Million Seller by the OJs. And Dueling Banjos, two, number two this week, two last week. From Deliverance and Killing Me Softly with his song, A Million Seller. For Roberta Flack, another week at number one. I think that's going to be the biggest song of the year. For the week ending March 17th, 1973. What was that? Uh, that's St. Patrick's Day. All righty, until next week. Another look back at the hot 150 years ago this week. Thanks for watching.